What is troubleshooting? Cisco gives us a very simple example to get us started. You gotta love this. We have a problem report, and the problem report is the truck does not go. It's, it's broken down along the side of the highway. And notice the problem report is not that every car is broken down, the, inter, uh, the interstate is at a standstill. No, it's one vehicle. We've isolated the problem. It's this one car or this one truck that doesn't go. And we start to investigate what might be going on. We do some diagnosis and we have a gauge. We have a fuel gauge within the truck and it tells us that we're on empty. And based on our experience, based on our intuition, we hypothesize what might be going on. We hypothesize that if we went and put some gas in the truck, uh, it might be able to go at that point. Now, obviously that's a very simple example, but Cisco tells us that that's really the steps we're gonna go through as we're troubleshooting a network scenario. When we have a trouble ticket or we hear about a problem on the, uh, on the network that we're supporting, we need to clearly define, clearly articulate the problem. The problem is not the internet is broken. It might be that the PCs on this subnet cannot get to this particular host out on the internet. Once we define the problem, we're going to start to gather information around that problem, maybe from show command output, maybe from other network appliances that we're using to gather information. Maybe we interview the, the end user that reported the issue to us in the first place, and then once we have the information, we start to sift through it. We start to analyze the information, and if we've done our job right, we've got too much information, and we start to push aside and eliminate things that just don't make sense, things that are not applicable to this situation, and we propose a hypothesis. We've got our list of of the most likely suspects that it might be and we propose what we think is going on and uh, we come up with an action plan and we implement the action plan we test to make sure if we were right and hopefully the problem is going to be resolved and we're going to be able to document that solution but I want to share with you this seven-step model this is going to allow us to walk through just about any troubleshooting scenario with confidence whether it's troubleshooting an internet connectivity issue with BGP or connecting to our uh, connecting your uh, HDTV to a DVR in your home. You can use this model for just about any of those things. We're gonna start off by clearly, clearly defining the problem. Again, it's not the internet is broken. We want to understand the scope of the problem. Which devices are impacted? What is the specific symptom? Does it happen all the time? Is it just occasional? Is it a particular time of day? Is it the busiest time of the day? Let's clearly define the problem and then we start to gather information around the problem. This could be from show command output, this could be debug, this could be um, looking at a syslog server. This might be talking to the person who's experienced the problem and we start to analyze all this information that we collect. And we start to decide, well, it looks like the problem is happening all the time. Well, in that case, it's probably not an access control list that's blocking traffic unless it's a time-based access list, I suppose. But we start to push aside. We start to eliminate things that, that just do not make sense. And then we propose a hypothesis. What do we think is going on? And this can be based on our experience, what we've seen before. It can be based on our intuition, maybe working with others. Um, other network engineers might give us some insight. Maybe we have to do some research on our own. And we test the hypothesis. Word of caution here, before you just decide that I think the router needs to be rebooted, you need to weigh a couple of things. You need to weigh the urgency of fixing the problem right now versus the impact that it's gonna have on your end user. If you're an e-commerce business and you're losing business because nobody's able to come in from the internet and purchase your products, that's pretty urgent. And that's probably going to justify something like a router reboot. But if a, if a print job is going slower than expected, that router reboot might have an impact on the user that's not justifiable. You might want to schedule that reboot for, for a maintenance window as an example. But once you test your hypothesis, hopefully, hopefully we've solved the problem. If we do, awesome. That's great news. And we want to then document our solution. This is, a, this is a discipline that, uh, that many people lack, the documentation of what happened. That's not the exciting, that's not the urgent part of, uh, of your day-to-day -day job typically, but we need to be very disciplined about documenting what we found. It's not only gonna help us later on, it's gonna help other network engineers that we work with. Now, many times, a statistically significant percent of the time, our proposed solution is gonna be incorrect but not a big deal. We've got a feedback loop built in here. We'll just be able to go back and maybe we need to gather some additional information. And once we do that, then we can propose another hypothesis and then we can test that. We can just try, try again, as they say.